Good morning all of you. Today we are going to discuss about the fifth chapter of part two textbook work energy and power. First we discuss about the topic work. Before we getting into the topic let's have a look on to the objectives of the given topic. So imagine if you have completed your homework of the day and suddenly someone hears someone says that you have not done anything. The term work has different meaning in daily life and in science. So what exactly does the term work means? Let's go through some instances which gives a clear idea of the given topic. Suppose you are rowing a boat or swimming in a river. In this case, both science and you consider this as work. In daily life, we consider both mental and physical effort as work. But in science, the term work defines in an entirely different way. So let's discuss some questions which gives a clear idea of the topic. Who is doing the work? What is the work being done on? What is happening to the object? To get a clear idea, let's go through a video. You kick a football. Your work is done as you are applying force on the ball and it is being displaced. In this situation, there are two conditions that need to be fulfilled for the work to be done. One, there should be a force acting on the object. Two, the object must be displaced. If any of the two conditions are not met, work is not considered to be done according to science. Let us perform a simple activity and derive the mathematical formulae for work done. Take a wooden block and place it on a table. Let the constant force F be applied on the wooden block. Let the wooden block displace through a distance S in the direction of force. Let the work done here be W. Here work done W is equal to force multiplied by displacement which is equal to F multiplied by S. Therefore, work done on an object is equal to the magnitude of the force multiplied by the distance moved in the direction of force. Work has only magnitude and no direction. The SI unit of work is Newton meter, which is called Joule. If the work is done against the gravitational force, then it is given by MGH. Here are some examples of work done. So, what happens if the direction of force and displacement changes? Is there only positive work or there is something called negative work? Here is an illustration of positive work and negative work. Positive work occurs when for applied force and displacement in the same direction and otherwise the work is negative. Let us consider an example. Place a rectangular block on a table and attach a string to it. Here, the displacement of the block occurs in the direction of applied force. Now, let's pull the block and the block moves in the direction towards which we applied the force. Here, the force and uh, displacement occurs in the same direction and the work done is said to be positive. Now let's consider an another example. Consider a car moving from left to right and now imagine that a retarding force is applied against the motion of the force that is the force applied towards left. Here the force and displacement occurs against op in opposite direction. So, in this case, the work done is negative. 
zero work. Now, take a look on this quarry. What do you think is the amount of work done by him against gravity? Here, he applied a force in an upward direction and his displacement is in perpendicular to the applied force. In such cases, the work done is said to be zero. So in this chapter, we have discussed about work. So we understand that work done only if a force is applied on an object and the object get displaced in the direction of applied force. And we also discussed about different types of force or different examples of the forces and positive and negative work. Positive work occurs when the applied force and the displacement occurs on the body is in the same direction and negative work occurs if the applied force and the displacement occurs in opposite direction and also if the applied force and the displacement are perpendicular then the work is said to be zero work. That's all for the day. Thank you.